in my vein of still trying to make physical representations of biological processes, I was trying to figure out how to illustrate exocytosis. And that was about two years ago. And when I was doing that, it was around Halloween. And my daughter was getting her costume ready. And she came home with her wig. Right? That's her wig that she wanted to wear. But when I looked at this, it didn't look like a wig to me at all. It looked like a membrane vesicle. And so, <laughs> and so, spoiling her fun, I said, oh, I could use that to illustrate the process of exocytosis because it's a, a, it's a flexible membrane vesicle made out of a, it's a lipid bilayer, and it can turn inside out. And what happens is a cell often makes things inside the cell that it wants to actually um, have outside the cell. It needs to communicate with other cells, and it does that sometimes by releasing substances. And so it makes substances, packages them in vesicles. The vesicle comes up to the plasma membrane. It fuses with the plasma membrane, and what was inside the vesicle ends up outside in the external environment. And in fact, what was on the inside surface of the lipid bilayer is now on the outside surface of the cell. So now I've stuck new things into the outside of the cell. You'll see this a few more times. That's not the only time you'll see this vesicle. Okay, 